for the driver model that we're going to be using, we are going to have to create a PID controller, which is a pro uh, proportional, integral, and derivative game controller. So I'm going to give a quick example of how to create a PID controller in Simulink and how it should be applied in your driver model. So I have the imports and outports here, and for a, in our case, we're going to be using the PID to adjust the error between a given drive cycle, so I'll call this drive cycle velocity, and then our actual current velocity of the vehicle. So we'll call this uh, vehicle velocity. Both of these should be in the same units, say uh, meters per second. So to find the error between the two, we need to f have a sum block that we can find uh, the use to find the difference between the two. So we can go ahead and use this here. I'm going to choose to make it a rectangular, and we need a plus minus. So we're going to find the difference between the actual drive cycle that we're inputting from an Excel file. Say this could be the UDDS uh, profile versus the actual vehicle speed. And now we have the error between the drive cycle that we're trying to achieve and the actual uh, current vehicle velocity. With this error now, we need to come up with our proportional term, our integral term, and our derivative term. So as you know, the proportional term is just the direct error uh, multiplied by some gain. So we're going to use that to find here, and we'll call this KP. So this is our proportional gain. We also need an integral gain and a derivative gain, so I'll create those right here. So this can be KI for integral gain. I'll change this to KD for derivative gain. And in order to get the actual uh, integral error and derivative error, we can use both of these blocks. So we have the integrator block here. So this will give us the integrated error, the integral error. And we need a derivative block. So we can go ahead and search that. And we have a derivative block. All of these are going to be coming from the direct error signal, so we can have the integral error, the derivative error, and have these all hooked up to our uh, integral term, derivative term, and proportional term. And we do need another sum block here, so we can add all these together. We need three pluses. adjusting uh, that our PID controller is going to try to do in order to get rid of this error. And it is your job in the first assignment with the driver to tune these, to uh, tune the three of these gains in order to try and match the drive cycles, all three of the drive cycles that are going to be provided for you, uh, the UDDS, the Highway Fuel Economy Test, and the USO6.